Throughout history, few are given the power to control the destiny of their fellow man. Tribal chieftains and powerful shaman. Ace here and today well, I'm doing a new Let's Play of Empire Earth. This time I'm actually going to be covering since we beat the Greek campaign I've already I'm gonna be covering the English campaign now. Um, overall I'd say that the English campaign is actually a lot better than the Greek campaign was. Um, when it comes to Empire Earth and saying which campaign is the best in the base game uh, it's for me it's kind of a toss-up between the English campaign and the German campaign. They're both very good and there is some advantages and disadvantages to both, but, uh, well, going into the English campaign, one of the things that you'll notice, this is actually going to be a campaign where um, investing our civ points is going to actually, well, it's going to, our priorities are going to change greatly over the course of the campaign because it starts out with William the Duke of Normandy and ends with the Battle of Waterloo with Napoleon Bonaparte and the Duke of Wellington. So... There's going to be a big shift in unit types, and the civ bonuses are going to, well, which civ bonuses are going to be useful is going to change drastically as well. But anyways, we let's start off with the first mission of the uh, English campaign, which is the return of young William, shall we? William stared through the thick of the trees, squinting his eyes in the early morning light to detect the enemies he knew were nearby. Motioning for his small band of men to follow, he slipped silently through the trees, moving forward, always listening, always watching. Torn from his rightful place as heir to the Dukedom of Normandy, William had been forced to remain in secret for years, outcast and rejected. But now the time had come to return to make his presence known throughout all of Normandy. William was ready to seek revenge for the injustice done to him by Lord Tustane, Governor of Falaise. He would have Normandy, and perhaps even more. All right. So, here's the history. Not too much history on this particular one, but um, if you're interested, go ahead and pause the video right now uh, and read it. I'm going to continue on, though. First, let's have a look at the... Hints here, okay. That should be good. Sorry if I sound like I've got a cold today. I kind of have for, had for the past few days now. My father's old friend is master of a village east of here. Perhaps he can help us. Okay. So, let's see. Group 1, Group 2. Now, let's get some of these bonus, or get some of these attributes leveled up, shall we? I'm thinking... Yeah, we'll have to hold off on that. But for these guys... 
And we, no, we don't have the iron for that either. Okay, but we do have the iron to improve either arrow or shot. No, we don't. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so we are, however, going to speed things up and wait for everyone to level up nicely, which should be pretty quickly. And this should be, well, we are about three quarters of the way there now, which is pretty good. Yeah, by the way, if you've seen the um, video I did a few weeks back when I, uh, on um, some of the voice acting. Yeah, the games have some amazing voice acting. But yeah, I did a video a few weeks back um, making fun of uh, some of the voice acting in the game because it is incredible, uh, especially later on some of the missions. And there's some great irony at play here uh, as well uh, once we get to it, but I'll leave the best bit for you later on. But yeah, it's they, got the, they very clearly got uh, people that don't actually speak French Excuse me, to do the French accents. Be your business in our fair town? <laughs> I am See what I mean? The rightful Duke of Normandy. During King Henry's invasion, Lord Tustain sought to take what is mine by birthright. I come to you to make a plea for assistance. If you consent to help, I shall reward you handsomely when I am Duke. Very well, young William. You shall have our help. <laughs> May God be with us. <laughs> oh boy. But we do have, have more units from this village, which is useful. We are growing stronger. I know of another town far to the northwest yes, of here that may also pledge their support. Death to the heathens. With all my heart. So I have actually been looking at which unit types would actually benefit the the most and to uh, to level up, and I have come up with a few things. Yeah. Now we're gonna meet up here, I think, because there is a there is a village that if we save um, a little bit further north in between here, it'll reward us with some civ points, I think, some more resources, and uh, whatever troops that they had that were defending the town, which is good. Alright, let's go deal with the bandits, shall we? Good news is, William the Duke of Normandy is of course a strategic hero. Meaning that he will heal your party members, which is pretty useful. And he also has the battle cry ability. Did we miss one? Thank you, young lord, for saving our town. We have little to offer in return for your gallant rescue. But please accept this sword, then stacking it forged by our blacksmith. It is the finest blade in all Normandy, and I'm sure you'll have use for it. Ooh. Take whatever else you need. Our town is yours. Well, we can't get him to make more food or anything like that, which is unfortunate, but we did get a few crossbowmen, which is really good, actually, because crossbowmen actually... Well, they can one-shot enemy infantry, which is a huge deal. They kind of get replaced by sniper units um, and sharpshooter units in much later eras, but well, let's see what we can do with our sub points. I think I'm, for now I'll probably improve my infantry spear. Uh, the reason is they're one of the few unit types that's going to be useful throughout the entire campaign. So let's go with, I guess, attack. Yeah, that should help. Yes, 
That's actually a pretty oh useful God. boost there. I figured th for this campaign, when it comes to the uh, foot troops, I'm going to focus mostly on infantry um, spear, infantry ranged, and cavalry ranged, because they're actually going to be useful uh, to an extent. I think, anyways, they're going to be useful to an extent throughout the entire campaign. I know that there's at least one infantry ranged unit type that's technically available in medieval times, and, well... Anything after the medieval infantry range becomes extremely useful in this game, but here we are. You are the one day god, William. We have heard of your plight and pledge your support to you. The future Duke. Now we are strong enough to cross the river and enter the city of Falaise. If I remember correctly, um, yeah, okay, good. Yes, we oui. might be a good idea to set him to group. Yeah, I don't think there's enough arch, um, cavalry there to really justify making another group yet. So I'll hold off on making the knights their own group. Now, I have considered going uh, through the cavalry sword range, or the cavalry sword sith point bonuses. Maybe um, you do have cataphracts still as a available unit type in the medieval times in this game, but they, well, they're sword cavalry, which means they're going to be countered by the spear cavalry, which are knights, which are also a more advanced unit. The cataphract originally becomes available in the dark ages, therefore it's not going to have as good stats. And it's already going to be countered anyway, so I might want to hold off on that. Whoa. Well, that was easy. Okay, so we have done pretty well, I think, so far. Might actually want to spread my guys out to full. There we go. Bad news is. Looks well guarded, but with enough men, we should be able to take it. actually seem to have done pretty well. I don't think we actually lost anyone, which is surprising, all things considered. Ooh, that knight, though, is in pretty bad shape. There we go. Make sure everyone's healed. That should be good. I think once we enter the town, we should be perfectly good. We might have some... This is the road to Falaise. We are nearly there. Away with you! Outsiders are not to be allowed access to the city. Now be gone, they are prepared to fight. Whatever you say, French Team Rocket. And French Team Rocket is blasting off again. Now that we have entered Falaise, we must secure the mayor's health. Come, we shall speak with him. Okay, here we are. Young William, a such a surprise to see you in Felix. Of course, uh, I shall be glad to place my town at your disposal. We know that Tustain has retreated to his castle stronghold directly north of here. He has a large army and many defenses. To breach his fortifications, we will need siege weapons and an army of our own. To raise a large enough army, we need additional resources. We will have to scour the countryside for them. Sounds good enough to me. Now, I know you do get some civ bonuses. And we also now have this entire village to work with to build farms, that sort of stuff. Okay, let's see what civ bonuses we have. Seven. 
Well. I think I'm going to hold on to these points for right now. Because I want to have the pop cap boost. Yes. It's not going to be that useful in, say, the next mission, I don't think. But it is going to be useful in... Oh, it must have arrived. My lord, a skilled engineer reportedly lives in the south. Yes. He is experienced in the construction of siege engines yes. and may be able to supply us with some. Yes. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, first step is let's... We have to gather more food. Okay. That will be kind of important. Yes, my lord. With all my heart. On the two. Yes. Right way. Okay. Either that or I can uh, I guess I do have an idea. See how much civ buildings. Too much. Well, I guess I'll just get wood and uh, for start, and that'll get things going. Okay, so let's first go and. So once, uh, yeah, I wasn't thinking very clearly there. <laughs> In need of siege weapons, eh? Well, I have many available. Only 500 stone apiece. Make your selection, good sir. Heart. Alright, so we do need stone, otherwise he won't, uh, but the way it works is you just pick something. You don't have enough stone for that. I yes, can't be Lord. giving my goods away. Yeah, otherwise, and you do need 500 stone for each of these, otherwise he does that. For God and country. Yeah. Okay. Right way. Okay, now, we can upgrade, or we can build a granary there. Yes, my lord. It is an ambush. We must In fight. Well, that was kind of interesting. With all my heart. Okay, we'll go ahead and deal with this ambush. It should be easy with this force. Wow. I don't think they even lasted long enough for me to get the... Um, Battle cry on him there. That is sad. Okay, so we have to go, I think, over here, yeah. To this place. Greetings to you. So it be resources you are needing, eh? Well, we will give you all that we have. Okay, my lord. Now that's enough for three trebuchets. Or three of any. Thank you for your business. Would you care to purchase another? Thank you for your business. Would you care to purchase another? Thank you for your business. Would you care to purchase another? It shouldn't actually matter that much, um, I don't think, for the siege engine. So long as they have the range, we should be good. Actually, I do have an idea, because there is something else that we need to do. <laughs> Sorry.
Okay, so we got that there. Good. Oop. More bad guys. So we do have cavalry archers. Good, good. Um, let's see. Both cataphracts and knights. Although we don't have access to the pilium units, which is unfortunate. Yes. So I guess I won't be building any infantry ranged uh, lines, or I won't be upgrading them in this particular mission. keep these guys moving we should hopefully alright good we're about here so there's a mining camp here that's run by bandits. This looks like a gold mining operation. It seems well defended, but perhaps we can see this. Wow. So good to know that this thing can actually one-shot us. But also good to know I have the tools to deal with it. Well, my guys do seem to be missing a lot. Okay, it's about dead now. Okay, now that we've dealt with that, actually it'll even be possible to just attack these things with the archers, since they do actually have the range to deal with them. Add some more sub points for us, and we now have the ability to improve our pop cap. Good. 
see what else we can work with here. Um, see what cavalry ranged. And the reason I'm picking cavalry ranged specifically is because it actually does have a really useful advantage in that... Um, well, I can't... I'm not going to put any points in it right now. But it does have the advantage of the fact that... Uh, because it's ranged and not specifically archers, it actually includes uh, gun-based ranged cavalry, cavalry right later on, which is really important. Okay. But yeah, with the pop cap uh, improved, like we need it, just... Okay. I think everything is good to go. All we need is, yeah, just get the these things up there, get these guys moved back up there, and we will... Actually, that's probably a good idea to actually just leave those guys there for now. Something that might actually be a good idea, though, is to prove these uh, gather rates here. Now what I'm going to be working on is, um, I'll see what kind of uh, bonus I can, uh, I'm going to populate this first and foremost. And let's start off by improving the archers. Should go a long way, I think. I could, of course, get more stone to get more siege engines uh, purchased, but I think three should be uh, perfectly fine for what we're doing. I may, I may end up uh, buffing the range. Let me actually check that. Oh, I need to reinvest points in the pop cap there. Yep. And now, let's see. Siege engines, range. Yeah, we'll improve the range. There we go. Yeah, those should be now more than capable of uh, staying well out of the range of towers, I think. Yes, my lord. So first I'm going to improve the archers like I said I was. Knights do run on gold as well, so food and gold, which is even better because yes, it'll be easier for me to get food. My Lord. Okay, so yes, here. My Lord. Thinking it over, I might actually go ahead and improve the range of the artillery or the uh, trebuchets even more, since that probably is going to be a big issue. I distinctly recall that they gave, for whatever reason, they I think they boost the um, abilities on the towers for some reason. At least the particular towers that we're going to be going up against. So let's... Head north, see what we find for right now. 
I have no intention of making a big push, just doing a little scouting run. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, I guess I'll just have these guys gathering iron for right now. I forgot you can't populate uh, the town centers into capitals in this particular level for some reason. Ah, oh, well. Okay, so we will see. I should actually give it a range of 10, which should actually be pretty good. Yes. Right away. There we go. Yes, me lord. Death to the heathens. Yes, me lord. Pike men. Forward. Yes, me lord. For honor and glory. Yes, me lord. That's actually, what am I saying? I yes, it should give it a range of 12. For a, some reason, I screwed up that. Yes, I must be a bit more ill than I thought. <laughs> Whoa! And wow, they actually gave him a range of eight. So leveling up these uh, trebuchets was actually a good idea. I'll, I'll just go ahead and waste these outer towers here, I guess. Ooh, time to go back. Time to fall back. attack actually does seem to have dealt a good number on him, so that's actually... Oh, that went better than I expected. I might actually just be able to beat the mission right here. Yeah, let's actually keep going on and pushing it forward. Why not just upgrade the uh, swordsman a little bit here? And what else can I do? Um... What else do we have unit-wise that could use upgrades? Yep, knights. and start churning out some cavalry archers. Yeah, nine of them should be fine for right now. Make that ten of them. Now let's see what kind of upgrades I can give these guys. Range? Good. Okay, so let's see what we can work with here. Oh, that's bad. Ooh, that's time to fall back. Time to fall back. We can't afford to let these guys take out any of them. Yeah, 
And that's that force taken care of. That's good. Let's see what other kind of upgrades I can give these guys. Good, good, and... Yeah, soon they'll be fully upgraded. Just need to... I'll, I'll go for speed on them. Why not? Okay. Can't be all of them. There is the keep. Onward. Victory is close at hand. Am I really going to win it like this? <laughs> I really might. Well, first I'm going to kill off uh, whatever remaining towers there are. So, in the event that there are reinforcements, I might as well just. Also, here we go. Good. Now, there we go, and that should be the end of it. And that's the end of that mission, I think. The keep is in ruins. Tustain has been defeated. Nice. All right. Okay, so let's see how many points we ended up with. Eleven. Not bad. Which means we should be able to improve. Some, a few things that will help us out in the next mission. Well, this has been eight. Well, actually, let's see how we did in the score first. Military, nice. We got the tops, which means we lost only eight units. But we took out 91, which is good. Uh, raised 22 buildings. That's also good. Lord Tustain did have a larger army, but... Since it was more spread out, is pretty easy to deal with, I'd say. So yeah, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out.